Hey, welcome back, everyone. Just, uh, just looking at my uh, in the grow room and seeing what's what's going on down there. Uh, I was noticing that the amaryllis that we put down uh, for its winter's nap, or for its 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 dormancy period, winter's nap, it, it's still middle of winter. Um, they they started showing signs of life. So I wanted to show you what they look like and and how I know that they're ready to come out of their dormancy. Um, as you can see here, uh, we've got some leaves starting to grow here, but the most important part is off to this side. Uh, can you see right where my finger is? There's a little nubbin. This is the flower bud right here. So this, this flower set and it's starting to come up. Um, this one here, you can see the flower bud started there. The flower bud is a, is a fat um, it looks like a leaf in the beginning, but it usually comes from an opposite side to where the leaves are coming from. So, for instance, on this one here, the flower bud will probably come from either this side or farther off to this side. Um, so that, that's how you know that they're ready to go. Um, what I like to do with mine when they come out of their dormant period is, uh, well here, taken this one out of the soil so that you can I can show you how to plant them. Um, notice how there's a lot of dead uh, dead leaves. I uh, I clean off the bulb at this at this stage. I don't need all of this extra stuff. And also, if you keep this uh, this dead uh, material around here, uh, it can cause the bulb to rot because the moisture will stay in this dead material and stay near the bulb for too long and it can cause it to rot. I'm not saying it will, but it can. So you want to get rid of as much of this dead material as possible. Doo, doo, doo. Also dead leaf material from uh, before it was dormant. I don't see any growth on this one. This one could probably stay a little dormant for, uh, for a little bit longer, but I'm bringing everything out all at once. I have many amaryllis bulbs so uh, if a couple of them don't flower I'm not going to uh, not going to be sad and notice here this one's starting to produce, to produce a little baby so in a couple of years we'll be able to take this off and uh, it will uh, flower all on its own I don't recommend taking them off until they're almost the size of the parent uh, you can they will grow but they're just not going to flower for you for a number of years so let them uh, live off the parent and, and uh, get as much nutrients as it can before it gets separated. It's tough to get this skin off. All right, I'll do the same thing for this one. These ones here I'm not going to repot. I just I left them uh, in their location and, and uh, next year I might transplant them. Just want to clean them up just a little bit. These ones do really well for me. Um, one of them, I'm not sure which one it is, is my, um, it's called a uh, black pearl. And it's, uh, it's beautiful. It's got a really, really deep, deep, deep red. Um, it pr it's producing babies. I think actually this is the one. So, it's cleaned off enough. I will clean them off a little bit more later on. So I'll set this one aside because I'm not really going to do anything with this. Um, what, what I would do uh, at this point, let me just uh, grab a watering can. In order to activate good growth, you want to give it a, a drink. You don't want to give it too much because the plant is still kind of dormant. So you just want to dampen the soil. If you water it too much in this state, the roots really aren't developing at this point. So um, it would just be sitting in water and not using the water. So it would it would uh, almost definitely rot the bulb. So at this stage, just just a light water, just a 
to moisten it and, and give it a little bit of life. And then once you see the leaves start to grow, uh, even during the flowering period, you don't want to water, you want to keep it on, on the dry side, only watering when the soil becomes dry. Uh, but once you see the leaves start to actively grow, like when the leaves get to be about four inches tall, um, that's when I would start actively watering it. And they do like to be uh, uh, constantly moist. They do like the liquid. So here with this amaryllis, let's do a, a planting uh, um, video. We're going to add a little bit of soil to the bottom. I have drainage stones, just some little pebbles, like aquarium stone in the bottom. I'm going to add some, uh, some soil there. And uh, these roots are all beautiful. These roots don't look like they died over dormancy at all. If I found any brown dead ones, I would have uh, removed those. But these are all looking quite nice, very healthy. So we're just going to put them down there. We want to make sure that the top one-third or half of the bulb is exposed. So we'll just add some soil around in here. It's very dry soil. Pat it down with your fingers. Make sure it gets in all the nooks and crannies. Don't worry about where the, uh, the baby is. It is uh, going to be taking energy from the parent plant for now, so if it's fully submerged under the soil, that's all right. It will, uh, it will still push its way up because the parent plant is, is giving it the energy. Okay, so you also want to leave about uh, a centimeter from the top of the pot. Just for when you're watering, you don't want it to uh, spill over. You can always use some uh, decorative stones or moss around the base uh, just to, to make it pretty. If you're doing it for around the Christmas uh, time, then it'll make it more festive. Um, also, what is, what is beneficial to use, um, a lot of you have said that uh, um, you have the flower spike come up and then uh, it gets too tall and then it gets too top heavy and then it, it falls over. Well, that's, that's very common with amaryllis if they're not given enough light um, for the flower spike. Um, so what I would recommend doing is if you have any bamboo stakes or even better if, if uh, in your local garden center or, or uh, local shopping mall, if you find those uh, sticks that you use for uh, festive arrangements, um, you, can, you can put the sticks in here whether it's uh, red twig dogwood or yellow twig dogwood or some of those wonderful sticks that have all the glitter all over them. Um, you can use that as a showpiece and just uh, stick them in around the bulb and then as the flower grows up it will rest it'll rest against the uh, the sides of the sticks and uh, give your plant some extra support so this is nicely planted I've uh, I've poked it in as much as I can I'll give it a drink I might have to add more soil to it uh, later on but uh, for now this is good like I said you don't want to water it too much this is really dry soil it's probably going to go right through the bottom um, but again, you don't want them to be uh, soaking wet. You just want to moisten the soil. And uh, once the leaves, the leaves start to grow, that's when uh, the watering can, uh, can begin. And I also would not fertilize them until, uh, until the flowering is complete. Uh, once you cut off the flower spike and the leaves are fully growing, uh, that's when I would start fertilizing. And I would, I would fertilize with maybe a half strength fertilizer once a week. Um, and then just before you end up having them go dormant, <clears throat> uh, maybe the last month I wouldn't fertilize at all. The fertilizer will try to make the leaves grow. You want that uh, to stop. So, yeah. Anyway, I will have more videos on amaryllis as, uh, as they grow. I think that they're fantastic plants. I think everybody should try uh, growing them over uh, for their second year. They're really, really easy. Um, and there's so many varieties out there. Some look like orchids, some just look like the regular amaryllis that we're so familiar with. Um, there's so many options. Double ones and, and uh, I don't know. So much to choose from. Anyway, enjoy and uh, 
send me some uh, uh, pictures of your amaryllis. I'm sure that uh, over the holidays you've had some beautiful ones. I'd love to see them on my Facebook page. And uh, yeah, happy growing.